23. Hmm. Quite an interesting uh, map lineup. But yeah, we'll start start on map number 12, which was a pick by Netherlands. Map number 12, which is a full grass, uh, full speed map, with a little interesting trick at the end where you can gain just a tiny bit of time by jumping to the side and basically dragging your car into the finish with the reactor boost, which is it's something very difficult and I don't think players will do it until it is like a last resort. It's actually just it drives another 34.4 in the, the warm up. It's kind of a shame that we won't see this map in in the actual match because Jassy just looks so good at it. But yeah, let's have a look at the spreadsheet. Um, let's pick check it. I mean, in the Netherlands. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at twelve. So yes, it was then the the Dutch pick. Uh, <laughs> well, obviously they're they're pretty confident on the map. As you can see, Jan Vice pick with Jan Vice pick also Stuft and Jassy with top one hundred placements. And looking at Sweden, okay, Sweden, yeah, it is only Bronco who's really in contention when it comes to like pure pace. Well, I mean, the rest still get like have like decent times, like 35 which I mean, technically they could be like winning times in some of the rounds. You never know. You never know about the consistency. Yes, white card very beautifully presents as the the cut at the end. Yeah, Dutch invasion. Hello, hello. Yeah, I'm restarting with a Dutch map, so I think your <laughs> your mode will be brought right up because probably Netherlands will win this first map. Yeah, Vinka, Vinka. Is it a right or something like so many people suddenly come? <laughs> okay, so I know in which way I have to be biased on in this match. Okay. I have to support Netherlands. <laughs> no, but to be honest, I'm I'm hoping for a, for a very good match between both of the teams. I think Netherlands looks a little better on pace, on paper. Okay, I'm actually starting with the match. Alright, so map one. Map number 12, which is, as you can see, it's a full grass, full seed map. And we'll see how players perform. Any mistake on this map will be very costly, so just players should avoid any mistakes as much as possible. So as Jassia and Wild can actually just touch on the first CP. So Limpen was quite possibly behind Piadif and Jan. This is PR with a nice line, even though he's in a very close range with Bronco. But Jan and Priadiv should save it as it is Jassy who's occupying the fifth place right now. It, the first round looks to be a very comfortable run for the for the Dutch players. And it is uh, the Dutch taking first, third and fourth place, securing quite quite a safe round actually. It's Limpan doing it, doing a cut for the show. Unfortunately, missing it, but yeah, why can Okay, Sweden are just. They are just <laughs> doing wicked tricks. They are doing it for the show. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's follow Jassy, who uh, is the fastest on paper. As he made a mistake on the first round. Right now looking to be barely in, in the lead. Actually not as, as Jan enjoys a bit of airtime. This is now 
only white car who's contesting the just see and also Bronco as well. Okay, let's see if the practice paid off. Let's see if the cut practice paid off as white car was practicing it a tiny bit. But now it looks like he's not doing it. Is Bronco doing it? No. This is just Sweden taking it carefully as they have a comfortable point with a uh, white card and Bronco and second, third, and, and Limpan and fifth. Round number three. This one, one. Let's follow Jan who gets like, not the best line for the for the first turn as somebody made a mistake. I missed that. It was a Oh, it was an another Swedish player making a mistake. Which means now Netherlands is very comfortable in the lead. They have, maybe Whitecar will do something for the show. Let's spectate Whitecar, let's see if so he does something for the for the crowd. Come on. Yeah, he does, he goes for it, he goes for it. Ah, but misses on it, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, insanity guy, Vinka, Vinka. I swear, if White Cat managed to do it in their life round, it would be a clip for the for the clips channel on YouTube. Uh, let's follow this round. Jan with the best start. Jassy a little bit behind, but I'm sure he will catch up. Yad is looking strong, fighting for second place. Bronco trying his best to well, make the, the, the advantage of the, the Dutch right now. Uh, looks like it will be a round which will be decided a lot in the end. Bronco is not going for it. Is White Card going for it? No, he's not going for the cut. It's actually Limpen snipes Piatif in the end. I think Piatif made a mistake and that's why he, Limpen managed to snipe him. A nice round for Sweden. Making it 2-2. Yeah, Netherlands not looking that good considering this was their map pick. So Jassy and Piatif feeling their way in this round. Yeah, not far behind being there just in, in case like one of one of his, his companions makes a mistake. White guy being the closest one to contest for the lead as he's overtaking Piadif and coming closer to, to Jassy. As unfortunately even if he takes first place it won't, it won't be enough. We need to see something happen broke as he tries to cut and he gets it very Oh my god, he gets it but it's not enough unfortunately as Piadif takes the fifth place. Wicked stuff from 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 Bronco. Wow. Okay, you cannot top of top of this round that, that round that previous round. A Piadi and Ian with good starts. Just a tiny bit behind, but it's Coming closer, actually managing to get into second place right now. White card reading. Bronco coming close to white card. And it is Sweden, which looks very comfortable in this round as Nimman is trying to fight for points with the, the, the Dutch horse right now, which holds positions between 3 and 5. Will somebody try something as I <laughs> enter the wrong screen? No, nothing will change. It is white card and Bronco taking top 2. With Flemmen coming in last, securing the, the point for Sweden, making it 3-3. Free free. Okay, round number 7. Bronco for a very good start. Jassy trying a bit behind. Never mind, I'm actually overtaking Bronco. Who's really in contention for that first place right now against uh, Jassy. Let's follow White White Card. Who seems to be fighting for her, for some points as well. As this is Limpen securing its 
as his Piatif and Limpin fighting for the fifth place, which is now quite crucial, as it looks to be a stable placement that never mind. White Cat sniping Jassy as well as Jan making a mistake, making this another Swedish round. Yeah, and Netherlands picked 12 and uh, Sweden picked uh, Sweden picked uh, 14. Yes, it's Jassi and Bronco again con uh, fighting for the lead. Jan and Tiny bit behind and Piatif securing the fifth place right now, which could be crucial in the end. This round looks way more spread out than the previous one. White card coming with a lot of speed. Will he try again something in the end? Will he try to make it happen again? I mean, it was, it was Bronco last time out. Bronco tried, but unfortunately didn't get it. But yeah, it is for for it is the now oh, the the clench situ situation right, right now. Both teams having to perform at their best, literally right now. Let's follow Jassy, who kind of has to lead his his team to the victory. Who's technically the fastest on paper, and I expect him to also be the fastest in this round. Let's see what he does. Doing a great great start, being way in front. Limpen and Waika trying to fight Bronco. Tiny bit behind us, Jassy makes a mistake. It is now Sweden, which is in more favorable position. As Jassy, where is Jassy? Where is Bronco? Where is Bronco? He's too far behind to contest. It looks like it will be a point for Netherlands as they complete the sandwich and Jassy coming fifth, sniping that one most important point, securing the, the map actually for the Netherlands. Yeah, nice map. Netherlands made it very difficult even though it was their map pick. But yeah, we're coming up to 14 which was uh, picked by, uh, by Sweden. Let's have a look at uh, how they look on the map. Well, having like these times, having two top 10 times. Uh, sorry, top 100 times. Uh, well, maybe some, so one of these two players, Blanc and Wildcat, filling in quite nicely. And Netherlands, I think, yeah, I think this was a more of a strategic pick for Sweden, as we can see, it is, yeah, it is the worst map for Netherlands. So Sweden not actually picking like their best map, but picking the the map on which the rivals are the worst. Oh yeah, it's this map. It's the ice map. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, Sweden trying to <laughs> to beat Netherlands on their own ground, as the Nordic players seem to be very good at ice. I wonder why. Hmm. Yeah, and also Gassipans was a dedicated ice player. I don't think Gus played that much in previous matches, so he has a chance that he's here to make a show. Yeah, Lempen with also... I um, to say a good, good line, but he got a deal done. But yeah, players have one more minute to warm up on this map, which is... Ah, this map is it's quite difficult, to be honest. Um, you have these reactor sites, which are... Like, ice itself is already, like, quite precise. And ice with the boosters, the reactor boosters, is even more precise. Especially, like, uh, maybe this turn not, but uh, this slide, the second slide. Um, right here, like, this turn is so precise. And... It's also very decisive because you have this like this long part after. 
which after this this Wopsy, to be honest, doesn't really change much. much. Like the time on this Wopsy really depends on the part before, and there's this type, which, to be honest, I don't understand. But I think it's also very decisive to get it right. Yeah, the wolf trackers on this map is a 34.7. But looking at the times, I think we, we can expect... Um, oh, let me have a look at the spreadsheet. Maybe 30, mid 36 times from the Swedish team, I think. It would be like a very good uh, regular. Yeah, as we, as we start with the first round, the Swedish map pick. What well, Sweden taking top three places in the first checkpoint already? Uh, just looking <laughs> promising as Bronco makes uh, makes an unfortunate mistake crashing to the CP. The slim in the way. Where's Gus? Gus is fighting for second place currently. Actually, sniping the first, uh, the sniping hit right now. Limpen with a very wide line, but I don't think anybody is catching up really. Jan is not with the best line actually. Bardenwester with the, a very good line, Piadi flying <laughs> almost over the finish. Okay, I think this winning this map would be way more a way easier task for uh, for Sweden than winning all map for Netherlands. Oh, as Piadi is. I'm not sure what Fiatif was doing, he's enjoying his time at the Bobstay. Is Jan currently leading the way for Netherlands? Bartenwester... Uh, as you see Jan kind of dropping a bit behind Bartenwester, taking the, the baton to lead the Netherlands right now. Unless Limpen or Gas make a mistake, it is a free round for, for Sweden as we saw Parton make... I can slide off the slim and snipes gas right at the end. <laughs> second rank and a second point for Sweden in the row. Round three. It is Piatif again going the highest on the entry, but this time managing to get it work. work. Gas making a mistake, and this one looks the, the best round so far for the nether, the, the, the Dutch team. As let's see Piatif as he's in chase uh, to live and together with Jan. But currently, Gas occupying the fifth place, which would secure the round for Sweden if it stayed this way, as Piatif with a very nice line. Overtaking Limpen, jumping far would be enough. Yeah, it would be enough, but unfortunately, Jan making a mistake and losing his very important top three placement. So, if you had if it's just Jan making a sloppy entry into the bobsleigh. Limpen and Gas in front, Piatif closely behind. Piatif with a very wide line, but he might just have way more speed. Wait, right, this doesn't look to be the case. Limpen, I think with the most speed, almost crashing out of out of the box today, barely holding on. This is Gas in a close fight between Jan and Piatif. Jan coming closer to... Actually, Jan might be sniping this, the first place. A very good Jan. Limpen with a long jump, but Piadif coming with way more speed, sniping the first place. It will be a round of Netherlands after a very good end from the Dutch players. Round number 5, it is 3-1 for Sweden. Netherlands coming a bit back after losing 3 points in a row. But now it is looking way better for Sweden as Gas and Bronco get, getting a very nice start. Limpen not far behind. 
as Gus has a little bit of luck. But oh, I see crap. Actually, Gus crushed. Not sure if it has to do with the luck or not. But it is now Piadif leading the, the pack as a slim and doesn't get the best transit. That this is Bronco. Luckily, Bronco overtaking him and not uh, any of the. Uh, Dutch player says, unfortunately the mistake that Gus made was way too big and it is Sweden losing this round and Netherlands winning it again. Let's follow Bronco for this round. The yeah, Piading being the one to contest the, the Swedes in this map. Again showing that he has the pace to contend the the Swedish uh, ice mafia, I guess. <laughs> but okay, this one is actually Jan is getting the best the best start after the the, the the Dutch players. Bronco with an inside line, not getting that much speed. It will be Piatif who takes second place, and actually Pardenvesh they're coming out of nowhere. Wow, it won't be enough since Gas actually snaps Pardenvesh there in the end. It'll be a uh, point for Sweden, making it 4-2 and actually giving them the map point. Let's see if Sweden can break through and close the match as quick as possible. I mean the map as close as possible. Jan with not the best line will have less speed at the exit. Piadiv contesting for, for contesting for the as actually I bite my tongue because Jan is coming back right now in second place. Let's see Limpen. The, the Dutch secure in the top two places. Gas with a very good inside that he might actually take first. It is Piadif with equal speed and Gas with the lower jump sniping the, the round in favor of Sweden. And it's actually Sweden winning this map. GG. Also very good times under 37 seconds. Yeah, the next map is it's 08. Yeah, let's have a look. At, have a, let's have a, a little spy at the map 08. Um, looking at Sweden right now. Um, well, not looking the best to be honest. <laughs> they have players who are around like the top 200 mark. Mm. And Netherlands, well. Netherlands look a bit better, but I think this will be still a close match between both of the matches, uh, bo bo both of the the teams. As we had a, a wrong map switch to 18, actually we'll get to witness the, the whole world map this time. So yeah, it is quite a precision map, which is why i think this will be a very exciting matchup like i don't think pbs really matter that much it will be like really just a thousands deciding on this one because it is purely like a precision map which really just depends on little optimizations like everywhere like here you can reduce airtime here get a smooth landing here it's all about like as things that will soon get to it and this part is just about like precision and Coming out to the next part, right here, it's about getting the best transition to the side. Let's follow just uh, let's follow part investor for the for the warm up. Yeah, apparently sh stuff's not here, so uh, it might be a bit more difficult. True. Yes, we will see. I still think it will be like a very close match, though. Okay, as the players have 50 more seconds to warm up. Yes, my laptop lags a bit, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I 
But yeah, just a tiny bit of time to maybe grab a drink, grab like a sip of water. Alright, alright, you will be starting in a second. Good luck and have fun in the chat. Yeah, this map will be hard to spectate because everyone will be literally inside each other for most of the map. At least all a Swedish player making a mistake at the start. The Dutch barely in front. But Limp and Nuclear with a very good inside line. Let's see the transit here. Nuclear and and with the better lines, but however, Barton Vector coming a bit closer. It is nuclear getting the best line, however, it was, I think, white card or the other Swedish playing crashing out and losing the, the round for Sweden. Yeah, it's just these times show how close this map can get. Every, every single player, like, Within a like four plays within like what like five hundreds. It's a crazy close map. No mistakes this time. Just a tiny bit behind. Let's let's see it from his perspective. As he comes a bit closer, it is the Dutch getting a very nice line in the screen. Only Limpen being able to contest. This is Jassy and Jan. I think crashed a bit in the end, but still managed to finish. It's the Dutch taking the second round, actually. Seeing that they can perform even without their best player on the map. Okay, let's see, new, let's see it from Nuclear's perspective. Gets a tiny, a tiny bit slower start, which already this gap is already decisive, I think. Like this map is that precise, that it is already decisive. As White Card got a very weird transit there. It is Limpen and Jan challenging for first place. Limpen sniping it by just very nuclear securing first place and giving the first point to Sweden in this map. Another cross hand with a tiny advantage from the Dutch side. White card with risking it a tiny bit more. Let's see if White card can make anything happen. He's first. He's fighting with Jassy for the first place and actually manages to get the best line for the end. And it is the Dutch winning the round as they secure the top four places. Netherlands trying to have just this tiny bit more precision in those turns and it making actually a difference on this map. Which was this round. It is very close at the top. Levin and Wildcard wild card really risking this, getting a wider line here but with a lighter exit. Jassy with more speed coming past Wildcard and Actually, white card getting a lower line and securing the first place, which in the end makes Sweden win, as well as nuclear sniping uh, f third place by three thousands. Yeah, it is so difficult to cast this map because everything is so close and it's difficult to spot the, the gaps. And Wildcard making an unfortunate mistake. Let's follow Nuclear, who also bounces around, and unfortunately, this is a lost round for Sweden. It's Jassy with another 0.6. Really showing the, the pace on this map. Let's see if Sweden can well come together and kind of collect themselves. Or will it be uh, Netherlands who will use this like this down point for Sweden to win them up here? <sighs> N 
No mistakes in the start. The Dutch just tiny bit in front of the Swedish players. It is white card risking the part again coming first place right now. Let's see where is Nuclear. Nuclear. It is Lindland actually in front which will secure the run for Sweden, making it wrong in the map. Wildcard showing that he can contest with Jassy who was consistently putting out is putting out these point sixes, but Wildcard is showing that he also can do a point six. He can also contest Jassy right there. The same this time, this from Partenwächter and Jassy tiny bit in front together with Lippan. Actually, the players come more together. Wildcard with, again with a very risky transit. Coming to Jassy and Partenwächter very close to each other. Will Lippan snipe Partenwächter? No, it will be Partenwächter coming further and it will be Netherlands winning the map. GG. Uh, it will be map 20, which will be next. Uh, I have a question to the Dutch guys. Am I pronouncing uh, Pardon Wester correct? Uh, okay, okay. Okay, close enough, I guess. Okay, okay. Okay, let's have a look at the spreadsheet again, the magical spreadsheet. I forgot who made it, unfortunately, but I'm very grateful to that person. Uh, yeah, Netherlands looking to have quite good players, having Jassy, uh, Pardon Wächter and uh, Piadif with all actually like almost top 50 placements, looking very good on this map. But I assume Sweden is not much worse, actually. With Limpman having the best position out of the out of all of the players, as well as Whitecard having a top 30 placement and Nuclear not far behind with a top 82 placement. And Bronco just in case also very fast. Yeah, this looks to be actually a very close map. As the map switch was wrong again and we will have a longer warm-up. Yeah, it is currently 2-1 in favor of uh, Netherlands. Okay, we will be potentially closing the match, although uh, not... I guess if you're Dutch, then you want it to be the closing map, but if you're Swedish, then not really. Uh, yeah, it would be num map number 20, uh, which is a quite uh, interesting map, let's say. Like, the style of this map kind of reminds me of, like, the early dirt maps in this game, which were a lot about these platform terms, like, various platform terms. With, with a very weird section, which is coming up right here, where you have to, like, avoid these holes. But if you're trying to push uh, really hard, it can be very difficult to actually clear them. And here, this this part, you need to pick up a lot of speed to actually clear this jump. And this series of jumps again. And here to the right, you can actually do a no side, which I'm not sure if the players will do. Maybe some will do. And the end is straightforward, however, it might seem straightforward, but you can gain or lose a lot of time, especially on this part right here. You can be very, uh, you can really risk the inside line there on that last turn. Alright, right, we have 20 seconds, maybe 
embrace the the match which will unfold on this map. I'm expecting a lot of mistakes since well the map is quite difficult and it is not rare to see mistakes on this map. I got Zakafan. Jassy with a tiny lead. However, the gas is being still pretty close. Somebody, Barton Vester, clipping the inside there. Bronco with not the best line. Let's see the, the whole part from Bronco's perspective whether any of the uh, players in front with making uh, mistakes. Not really. Let's see if Piadi right now who's contesting for the third place. Let's see if we will risk this part. Which you can risk a lot if you try. Right now it is looking like a close run which is difficult to decide. Whitecat and Jassy fighting for the top places. Both players doing the no side there. Limben actually coming back and contesting for that for, for that first place. And actually it is Piatti who makes a nice comeback. White guy looking to the space, just is sliding out on the turn, which in the end actually makes it an easy snag for the Swedish team. Let's try then there are three matches right now. There is this match, there is the uh, England versus the Germany, and there is uh, another match in the lower bracket. Let's say Limpen is showing that he's very good at this track. Yeah, they're taking a bit different line though. Maybe sacrificing his exit speed a tiny bit. It's this long white card who crosses into the, the CP and the ramp is looking very good for the, the Dutch players. With Piadif also securing the fourth place just in case like, somebody something happens to the top two. No, he's right there to secure the, the points as well. Lindman kinda trying, but I'm not sure he will be able to catch up to first, which he needs right now. He might overtake Jassy, but it won't be enough to overtake Jassy as both of them make a mistake. It's actually Piadif coming second. As I have a phone call, wait, let me let me answer it. I'm sorry. Uh, Alrighty, I'm back. As you see, Jassy, Partner Vester fighting with Limpen for the lead. White card kind of coming from nowhere, actually. Though. Jassy carefully navigating as Limpen had to adjust when he way too much on that turn. It's white card with a very nice slider coming a bit closer to the leading du Dutch duo. I unfortunately clipping the. Uh, the block there, making it an easy top 3 currently for for the Dutch team. Let's see if Jassy makes the mistake in the end again, because he made it two times in a row, but it doesn't look like it. It's a bit tiny flex from Pardon Vestex typing Jassy in the end. But yeah, Netherlands currently with a small lead, 2 to 1. A Spartan Vester clips uh, the block at the start. But not falling uh, that far behind, he's still in a uh, contestion for the spots if anybody makes a mistake. Yatif with not the best line, flying a tiny bit, and a Spartan Vester overtaking him. Sweden looking very good on this map, it's Wildcard took a very inside line, falling into the holder. Let's look at Bronco and Slimpan whether they can. Slimpan came very close to the wall there. Let's see if they can secure the map, the, the point for 
Sweden and Slinton and Bronco both with very messy lines. Paladin Vesher and Jassi both overtaking the Swedish players. Lindpen fighting for, for his life currently for first place. Spartan Vesher will he snipe Lindpen as he sniped Jassi in the previous round? Yes, he will. He gets a very nice end line. Securing that point for Netherlands. Swedish players unfortunately throwing a very promising round. Martin Vesher keeping the, the inside of that Duke again. I don't know, he's risking it too much, but this time it wasn't as costly as it was before. Lindman leading. With White close behind. Martin Vesher just also contesting. This looks to be a way closer round than this before. Lindman with... Wait, what happened to Lindman? I think he got a, a bad gear or something. Python Vester touching. This is so bad. This would cost him so much time. Let's see Bronco, who's now in fourth place. Never mind. And let's see Lindman, who's in second place, hopefully. And a shaky life. A very shaky life for Lindman. It is Jassy and Piatif securing the, the point for Netherlands. Jassy crushing! This is actually Lindman securing the first place. White card coming fourth. Who's, who's coming fifth? Ah. It's actually Pardenvester securing the point for Netherlands. Okay, 4 1. Can Netherlands close out the match in this round? Or will Sweden actually make a comeback and fiddle with, with, the, with the Dutch players? It's looking very good for the Dutch Jassy and Bardenvester leading the, the way on the round, which hopefully is the, the last one for them. Actually, Limpen and, and Whitecat with a better parser actually coming back. They won't make it easy. As Limpen beautifully, beautifully clears the holes there. Partenvester and Jassy closely behind. It is actually Piatif in fourth place. Making him a Dutch top four. It's also it is Bronco very close behind. It is Bronco who makes needs to make something happen here. It is Limpen holding on on his first position in front. Followed closely by three Dutch players. It is Limpen not getting the best landing. Counting a clear round for, for the Dutch. Hopefully Jassy doesn't make a mistake. He does, but it's still good enough for the Netherlands to win the match. GG. Yeah, good match, very good. 